Chris, how pleased are you with your team fighting back not once but twice in that game? Yeah, I've got to say I think everybody in the ground uh, would have been incredibly disappointed if we'd not got a result from that effort. Didn't like the first 15 minutes of the performance. I thought we looked leggy. We looked like it was that third game in a week and the effort physically and emotionally that we put into trying to get a result and to run Liverpool deep as we did. On Thursday night, it looked as if you know we were a little bit one-paced and passive. But we got ourselves going. I thought the midfield three, especially Blaster in the middle of the park, got us passing, got us passing positively, moving it forward. They're disappointed with uh, with their first goal, you know, um, a little bit of a block on that. But it's something that you know we have to do a lot better with because. Um, Listen, it's an opportunity for them to score and an opportunity for us to defend it well and we, we haven't defended it well enough but reaction off the back of that first 15 minutes was good and for the next let's work it out 15 minutes because obviously there was a little bit of discussion regarding at the end of the game because it's five minutes and then we scored and then it was eight minutes so I don't know whether they were allowing us to try and get a winner or they were they were allowing Chelsea to, to with the uh, with it with the, with the numbers that went on at the end. Um, not in trouble again, I'm a Tim. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, delighted with uh, the, 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 the last 75, 80 minutes of the performance. I thought it was really good. You briefly touched on it there, the, the lads in, in midfield. You went for the legs and the energy and the quality of our blaster in there and they rewarded you today with the, the performances. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> calm and, and, and composed. I mean, and, and the only time that I can be super critical is... Is their second goal where where I think Gus takes two touches when it comes out. If it's f- further up the pitch and it's a one touch pass for a goal scoring opportunity, I get that. But we, we, the press was good second second half and especially after about fifteen to twenty minutes, we we, we pressed a little bit higher up the pitch <clears throat> and allowed us to to, to to get up the pitch and, and win more balls off the back of that. Um, and from 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 there. Gush really should take two touches and then we're, we're, we're wide up. And I can't be too critical of, of, of that as well because I think you know, the mentality of the team was to, was to, uh, to go and win the game um, from, from, from 1-1. Um, and uh, unfortunately, off the back of that, they, they, uh, they score from a counter-attack. But the, the midfield three were, were, were really good. I thought the composure, that they passed it, they found the pockets, they found the angles and, um, and, and, and allowed us to sort of really get a foothold in the game. Three draws now in the last four games and the defeat was at, was at Liverpool. So are you happy that you, you're now finding a, a level of consistency and, and also scoring goals on a regular basis, which is tough in the Premier League? Right, it's tough and the, the, yet again, the level of performance. I'll let you talk about you know the comparisons between the, the clubs in the Premier League and obviously all those teams that get, get promoted as well. So... You know, it's a diff- difficult last week in, week out. You know, Fulham, you know, Fulham, <coughs> even from a Bournemouth situation. So we're, 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 we're slightly disappointed that we've not got a couple of more points on the board off the, off the back of those, um, those, those four performances, really. But, it, you know, it, it, it never felt the position that we're in. Tim, which when you look at it and you look at the league table and you look at the situation we're, we're in, that never felt like that today. You know, there's 28, 29,000 uh, supporters in in, in in the ground, you know, stayed with us right to the end from the first minute to right to the end. We're brilliant against Liverpool and it it doesn't have that feel really. Um, so that's the, that's a strange bit, bit about it because we're in decent, decent nick. Um, thought I'd like I said our performance on Thursday night was was really good, competitive. Um, took the game deep uh, against against Liverpool, against an outstanding team, it, it, not just here domestically, but from Europe, from Europe and worldwide. In terms of what they've what they've got and how they how they perform, um, and, and today as well again against Chelsea. And as I said, you know at, at the end, I think everybody would have been really disappointed if if we not got anything out of the game. Thank you. Chris, I think that's the fourth game this season, third under you, where you've had uh, result-changing goals scored after, in the last couple of minutes of games. I know there's been a few the other way as well, but given what you've said about the 
physical problems your team has, what does that say about the sort of mentality that they, they keep going like that? Yeah, we, talk, we talked about it. You know, it's a sort of, we're in a little bit of a conundrum because I can't fault my players for giving absolutely everything. And I've, I think you've seen pictures, you know, when whether they were the Fulham game or whether they're the Bournemouth game. And I've just got this image of the Bournemouth game where there's about eight, eight bodies just lay flat out in, on the pitch at, at, the, at the death. Uh, and, and the same, so... I can't be too critical when they're giving everything, but obviously off the back of that, you want them to to give more and go right go right the way through. Um, in terms of t- t- today, we had you know a, a, a better bench, obviously with Cam coming back in as well, um, and we understood the the uh, the demands of the Premier League and the three game week, you know, especially um, coming into this last game. But I thought we, we 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 really looked strong at the end of the game and really dug in. And we talked about it. We talked about it. You know, we can't be going down with cramp. You've got to dig in. You've got to find it from somewhere. You know, for for yourself, for your teammates, for the shirt, for the badge, for the supporters. You've got to really dig in and find that extra little bit to to get something from the game. And uh, whether it's at Bournemouth, where we were seen, you know, we were putting our bodies on the line late on. Uh, whether it was uh, 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 the Fulham game, the Liverpool game, where we went right right to the end, and obviously today as well is another example. There's enough character in the team, uh, you know. There's enough character in the team. There's a word that we all use that I, I know I can't use, but there's enough of that, that that in the group. Sometimes <clears throat> when you when you are playing these top teams, you know when they do turn it on and you you are off of it, uh, and they do punish you. It looks, and the question is always asked. I ain't not sure that you know that really is something that can be incredibly aimed at us. But when it when it happens like that, you have to you have to own it and accept it. And to to only need to use three substitutes at the end of a three game week is significant, isn't it? Well, yeah, we um, you know we we, we we looked at it. Um, we felt we we changed the shape late late on. Uh, Cam only had you know ten fifteen minutes. He's he's had one or two training sessions the back end of, of the week so yet again like I said I, I, I have to I've got a, you know we've still got seven games left we could gamble and push these boys right the way through but, but like I said even on on Thursday night you know Ben Ben wouldn't have played Gus wouldn't have played you know uh, McAtee possibly wouldn't have played it would just opened it up for them to get injured so after you know after you know <clears throat> I'm I think you've seen my track record. We're, we're pretty gung ho at times in terms of going for going for games. There's not many games where incredibly see it out and go five four one or, or or whatever. We still feel the best way at times is to is to go and get two at the top of the pitch if we if we can. But we have to be mindful that these boys really do open it up for for, for injuries, and I have to I have to accept that responsibility, and I will take that. And if I do get a bit of grief, then I'll take that on my on my, on my shoulders. And, and I would imagine the video of this game would be quite a useful one for you to point to some of the, the, the less consistent players you've got and say, this is what you're capable of, I won't see it more often. Well, that's <clears throat> exactly what we need. Consistency in selection, consistency in availability and consistent performances. And we, we are, I do feel we are sort of getting in, in, into that sort of mode. Mm. And the trade-off is obviously <sighs> being brought up you know, win at all costs. Don't worry about performance. But I think we're in, we're sort of in a in a sort of a period where the performance has to be right first to allow us to go and get that get that result. And I think that's where I'm at it with it at the moment, Stu. And and just a word for Ben Osborne. He doesn't really do glamorous jobs for your team, no. but he's the kind of person you need in a squad. He's the water carrier, isn't he? Yeah, he's 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 brilliant. I'm not so sure that he thinks that that he can be uh, he can beat the Chelsea goalkeeper off his right. Peg leaning back in the 90, 98th minute, he thinks he's going to stick it in the top corner. But yeah, again, he's he's one that gives us everything, and um, and, and and one that we you know we will be looking as well. He's 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 been excellent since I've come in. I knew what he was about. Um, his attitude is a squad. He's, he's not a squad player. He's a team player. I think that's the best way of putting it about. It. If he plays, he plays. If he's not, he not, he gives his best. And I think that you know. Those are the players that are really invaluable to have around the place. You ask him to do a job, whether it's left wing back. You know, we've got two left wing backs out at the moment, which is a real difficult one. We're asking Austin to do a job for us. Um, and But we know Ben can do a job in the middle of the park. And I thought, like I said, his, 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 his knowledge and, and, and understanding of the game is, was really good. Um, and um, it was, I thought he was, was excellent in, the, in there with the three of them.
Does that put him on the list then of players you want to keep for next season? Yeah, well well done. You've, I've opened up a little bit and you've jumped all over it, Stu. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, listen, we've spoke to Ben about extending it. He's, you know, he's got an option on his contract and, and one that we would we would look to look look to or like to work with next year. Um, you've had such a roller coaster of emotions in your times in charge of Sheffield United. Do you ever look at other leagues and think, yeah, I wouldn't mind being in one of those leagues where they don't have relegation? Where they don't have relegation? Well, like the MLS? Yeah. Well, if, if, if the new owners of San Diego, because uh, that's going to be a new franchise, or the Las Vegas franchise need a, need a manager in the future, then obviously I'll, I'll stick my hand up for that gig. <laughs> um, yeah, listen, it is, it is what it is. So this is our pyramid. I love English football, love the pyramid, work right the way through it. Um, and it's just part and parcel. You have to accept it. It was always going to be a struggle this season, and it's it's been a painful one. But you do, you know... You, you, when you see your team play like that, and you see your club being at one to, together today, because we, we we were and we are and we have to be going forward, we have to be that together football club. And I thought you saw that the 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 players set it off, the supporters jumped all over it, and uh, and the supporters lifted the players in the last last ten or fifteen minutes because there were there were there were some dead dead on the feet players there, and they gave them their their, their support to to try and get something from the game, and they did that. Cheers. Yeah, and I think he'll be all right. I, I, I think he'll, be, you know, he's a, he's a warrior, Dan. So we'll we'll, we'll assess him, but I'm sure he'll he'll, he'll be okay. He's uh, he's obviously limped out, but um, I think it was just a just a bang. Yeah, yeah, he's one. Yeah, he's one of them. So hopefully um, we'll give him enough time between now. I'm I'm not so sure. I'm you know he needs he needs to recover. I think they all need to recover, and they'll all, they'll all sleep well because it's been it's been a pretty pretty tough week in terms of. The, uh, the 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 fixtures that how we've played physically what we've put into it mentally what we've put into it.